But I do know that every obstacle we face, every encounter, every incident, whether it's a tragedy or a trial, it's, a, it's just something to get us closer to God, and that's where he wants to be. Wow, yes. that's good, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. With that being said, in John three seventeen, the Bible tells us that God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. With us knowing those facts, lets me know that Jesus had to be crucified for our sins. He was hung and beat to death for us. Wow. Yeah. But the good thing out of this bad misfortune is we are all given those chances to wow. be saved. Wow. That's yes. good. That's good. Just like if you went to a doctor for a normal checkup just to hear the doctor tell you, Nicole, you're close to being a diabetic. Your levels are really high. You can take these pills. They will help you lose weight. And since you guys were trying to get have a baby a few years ago, those also will help you get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now, church, all this sounds very bad. But out of all that bad, the good thing is I have time to lose weight and we can still have a baby, but we're not trying to have a baby. Now, in John 16, 33, God did warn us. He says, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you should have tribulation, mm -hmm. but be of good cheer. Yes. I have overcome the world. Now God is really saying, be happy while you're going through your trial and tribulation. Rejoice. Mm -hmm. Now, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Wow. Now with that being said, God is in control of everything. Wow. Or should I say everything is followed filter. You know, uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Now God does not cause evil And he does not cause suffering <laughs> But he does allow them things to happen That's right. He permits them Then he uses them wow. So God is an expert at bringing good Out of bad situations wow. yeah. That's good <clears throat> yeah. Come so, family? <laughs> so God is using So that, that one thing That you want in your life to be gone I mean, whatever it is, you might be like, man, this is hurting me. This, this is bad. God is actually using wow. it to shape you into the Christian or uh, the believer that he wants you to be. That's yes. Now, yes. now, God could have killed Paul out of prison in Philippi. <laughs> but instead, he let Paul go to prison, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. But in Acts 16, 25 through 40, an earthquake shook the jail. And the jailer became Christian faith and was baptized. <laughs> so with that being said, yes. God did not... Sometimes your bad situation, he can use that for somebody else's good, too. Yeah. 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 What you want oh, to you oh, 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 You proved yeah. it! Now, you may think you're in a bad place, yeah. but God. Say it with me. Say, but God. But, but, but God. God. But God. But God. But God. He can turn that bad into good. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the story of the gospel, and that's the story of our lives. So, with that being said, Romans 8, 28 tells us, we you know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to the purpose for them. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Johnson family. I'll sum this up for you. We will go through trials and tribulation, but look to the hill which come with your help. Come on. Yeah. Come on. God is peace, God is joy, and God is love. Yep. Thank you. story uh ground valentine's day my wife was getting the uh candy and stuff ready for joshua to go to school uh so what he did was what she did was uh, she prepared this really good uh candy bagged it all up we took it to the school we also took like a little shoe box 
the shoebox was all decorated by the school and everything. So uh, when I went to pick him up, we brought home all this candy. And I was like, okay, cool. So I started going through. You know how you go through, try to see what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I'm going to get a job. She was like, oh, okay. Yeah. I saw names on stuff. I was like, okay, little John, they gave some good candy. Okay. Uh, little Kathy, okay. And I saw the candy that my wife made for Joshua. That it didn't have his name on it. So I was like, hey, why you put Joshua's name on it? Because, you know, I mean, I'm like, you got some good candy. I want to get credit for yeah. it. I want to know that, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some good yeah. candy. Yeah. <laughs> so she looked at me like, I ain't want to get the credit for it. I, was, oh. I gave her a look like, huh? you know, like, wow, wow. you know, so she wanted to get the glory to God for it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And that hit me. I was like, wow, okay, God. Apparently that's the issue for me. That's the issue for me. Just a little background. Uh, I've dealt with low self-esteem and depression for for years up until like the last five years or so. When I was uh, about eight, nine, my mom don't know this, but I wanted to commit suicide. Wow. Wow. I stood in our kitchen and I contemplated it. Just the pressures of just you got y'all don't think little kids got pressure, but it's stuff right, to you. Right. Yeah. So, man, man. Yeah, yeah. That's but God said, um, well, how about your little sister? Mm. We're gonna take care of your little sister. So didn't do it. I said, okay, okay. Grew up, I wanna say I wanna about three or four years before I met my wife, I walked into the church we used to go to, and I just walked with my head down. Cause I didn't want to look up, I didn't want to look at people, mm. I didn't want them to see my face. So one of the ladies who was in uh, singles ministry, she looked down too to see what I was looking at. <laughs> so it hit me, I was like, nah, I got I to work on this. Yeah. You know, so the fact that God has brought me from there all the way to able to actually be up here to talk to y'all. Wow. Come on, so yeah. 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 It's a big deal, Yeah, come on, you got it. And, um, I just want to get glory to God. But the issue was that glory thing. See. God dealt with the self-esteem. We had hours and hours of just listening to confidence tapes, uh, rejection tapes. Mm. Um, you know, wow. my wife, when I met her, she was like, you dealt with what? She couldn't even tell. Wow. And I was like, wow, okay, cool, that's good. <laughs> but um, yeah. when she said that, we also started reading a book. We started reading a book by a guy named Edward Welch. It's called um, His Knees. It's a, no, it's not. It's called uh, When People Are Big and God Is Small. And he made a statement in that book that I got stuck on. I was telling um, Prophet Chris and uh, Pastor Dee, I got stuck on the page. And on that page, he was saying that low self-esteem usually means that I think too highly of myself. Oh, That's wow. the paradox of it. Wow. See, God already dealt with the how I felt. He had already built me up. Mm -hmm. Now he got to deal with the pride issue. Wow. So wow. That's good. he said that I'm too self-involved. I feel I deserve better than what I have. Mm -hmm. The reason I feel bad about myself is that I aspire to something more. Mm -hmm. I want a few more minutes of greatness. I want more of God's grace. Mm -hmm. I, want, I, want, I, want, I want more of God's glory. Mm -hmm. So instead of giving it to God, I want it myself. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. I'm, a, I'm a peasant who wants to be a king. Wow. He finished by saying, when you, when you are in the grips of low self-esteem, it's painful. And certainly does not feel like pride, but that's what it is. Right. Wow. So when I read it, I, um, my wife been journaling. She been journaling. I saw how good it was for us. I said, okay, I'm going to start writing down some stuff. <laughs> I said, okay, okay. So when I read that, I wanted to see, remind myself how I felt when I read that. Pride is waiting on others to be, uh, is waiting is one of others to see you as great. When you don't, when I don't see that, if I don't feel that way, I feel exposed, embarrassed, ashamed. I get upset. I want to hide. It's difficult. It's uncovering. It's uncovering my mask. See, it's not about you. So if you put the focus on you, right. you're yeah. missing it. That's right. Yeah. Turn to chapter. Um, turn to Matthew five real quick for me. Matthew five thirteen. You guys know this verse is actually mentioned by Prophet Chris today. It's saying, You are the salt of the earth. That's right. Mm -hmm. But the salt have lost its savor. We would shall it be salted. It was thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden upon on the feet of men. Mm -hmm. You are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Mm -hmm. 
Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. Yeah. But a candlestick is given light unto all that are in the house. So let your light so shine before men yeah. that's good. Come on. that they may see your good works. Yeah. Yeah. And do what? And glorify. Hey, come on. See, I was stuck on the first part. Come on. Come on. I was stuck on the first part. I want you to see. Yeah. 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 Yo, Strick got a five jump. Oh, man. Yeah. Yo, it's that validation. Yeah. Yeah. Some of that validation. Yeah. Yeah. You know that validation. Yeah. 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 So I was like, oh. Wow. Oh. That's good. So. If you don't know the purpose of something, you're going to misuse it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, dude. Yeah. If you don't know the purpose of something, you'll misuse it. So y'all here to be salt. Come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're not being salt, God says pretty much. Wow. Yeah. You're doing nothing. You're trying to defeat. Right yeah. yeah. You're nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Salt that has no flavor, what is it? Yeah. Wow. Come on. Wow. Come on. Wow. So, wow. Just trade. Like. Oh, yeah. Come on. You need to be a light. Yeah. Come in a dark on. place. You talk about being a dark place at your job. Yeah. God needs you there to be a light. If not, how are they going to get to know Christ? Wow. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. the thing is, God wants you to give you a good example of it. You got the, the moon and the sun. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay? The thing about the moon is, it doesn't, it's not able to generate its own light. Yeah. That's good. It can only generate from the light wow. of the sun. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, what is, yeah. so, what happens is, the sun shines on the moon, yeah. then it shines on the earth. Uh -huh. yeah. Right? Now, that's how it works. Yeah. So when we used to do what I was doing, I thought I was the moon. Hey, get the shine on me. I'm going to shine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I forgot about the glow. I thought, give it back to God. Wow. So that's what you should be doing. Yeah. Come on, dear. You're doing it. Yeah. Yes, God. So turn to Jeremiah 9. I'm going to throw my wrap up real quick. Thank you. Come on, T. If I can find thank God for my wife, Bob, she got it marked up. And <laughs> <laughs> I laid out for you. She do. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Good job, Lee. <laughs> she and I was using her Bible today. 100. 100. <laughs> okay. Jeremiah 9, 23. says, Thus saith the Lord. Yeah. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Come on. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Wow. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Come on. But let him that glory, glory in this. So if you're going to brag about anything, man. Come on, what you do? Come you're going to brag about the knowing yeah. the how we know God. Uh -huh. Come on. That I am the Lord with exercise of love and kindness, yeah. Yeah. judgment and righteousness yeah. in the earth. Yeah. For in these things I delight. Come on. Yes. Wow. Yes, so, like I said in the beginning, if you don't know the purpose of something, God wants you to shine. Yeah. He wants you to shine. If I shine just to point to me, like, look at me, mm. it's not doing anything. Because right, right. people don't look at me as a source, but I'm not the source. Right. Yeah. I don't want to leave people straight to hell. Yeah. But if I point yeah. to God, yeah. they can go to him as the source. Yeah. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Yeah.
life, Father. Yes, Lord. I ask that you use me as a holy vessel yes. to speak life, wisdom, and encouragement to your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. don't know I am a country girl. <laughs> I grew up deep down in the country on dope dirt road country. Oh yeah, that's country now. Real country. <laughs> <laughs> Good things come out of the country. Amen. Um, around every early spring, my mom and dad would gather all of the all of us kids, my sister and my brother and I, and say, come on, time to go work out in the yard. And we're like, oh man, I'm, you know, it's hot. Bugs. Nobody wanted to work out in the yard. He had already taken the plow and plowed up the ground in the, in the yard. He'd give us a handful of seeds and they would plant collard greens, turnip greens, tomatoes, and corn, and dill peas. I would have those handful of uh, seeds in my hand. I looked at them and I was like, what are these going to do? Before we planted the seeds after he plowed and um, broken up the ground, he gave us fertilizer to put in the ground before we planted our seeds. Mm -hmm. on, the each, on the each side of us, God has given us our seeds. Mm -hmm. Your seed may be different from my seed. Yeah. Your seed may be, you may have the gift of prophecy. You may have the gift of speaking in tongues. You may, your seed may be being a preacher. Your seed may be being a teacher or an evangelist. But whatever your seed is, don't compare it to somebody else's because yeah, that's, that's right. your individual seed. Yeah, God has right. given you that specifically and for a purpose. That's and in right. order for a seed to grow, it has to be planted on good soil, on good mm -hmm. ground. And yeah. the fertilizer has to be laid in place and, and everything has to be in place in order for your seed to grow. Mm -hmm. Brother Derek said something about knowing the purpose of something. Now, had my father given me those handfuls fulls of seeds and I put them in my pocket or put them in a drawer, they wouldn't have grown. Mm -hmm. You'd have to take a seed wow. and plant it mm -hmm. on yes. good yes. fertile ground in yes. order for it to grow. Yes. 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 And after we did that, several months passed by. Several months passed by, there was tornadoes, there could have been um, thunderstorms, lightning, and storms, and I'm here today to tell you, do not give up. Yes. When life hits you and you have all types of thunderstorms in your life, you know it, you guys have taken one step forward and then you've had two, you take two steps back and you wonder, you get sad or depressed and you know, you just feel weary. It's like, why God? Start feeling sorry for ourselves. Why Lord? Why why me? I'm sowing, I'm, I'm sowing all these harvests. I'm, I'm I'm planting in other people, but I'm not seeing a manifestation of you in my yeah, life. Why? Yeah, yeah. In your yeah, marriage, yeah. you could be being that Proverbs 31, and you could be praying for your husband, but you're still not seeing that breakthrough that you want to see occur. In your job, you could be that person that go in on your off days when they call you. Um, you could be that person that come in every single morning and stay late at night, mm -hmm. but when it's time for a promotion, you get passed over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Don't right. give up. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 I want to tell you that when your finances get really, really hard and, and you're looking at your bills and you have more bills and you have money, don't give up. Yes. 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 John six, in John 16 and 33, Jesus said, I have told you these things so that you will have peace. That's right. And That's in right. this life, That's there good. will be trouble. That's good. Yes. That's good. But take heart that I have overcome I this world. Yeah. Yes. He did not say that we were not going to have trouble. That's right. That's if right. you are surely a follower of Christ, you're going to be betrayed. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You had Judas there with him that followed him, there with his teachings for three years. Yeah. And he betrayed him. He's so come very, God. very close to you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. When you have that friend, that childhood friend, or somebody very, very close to you and that person betray you. Mm -hmm. 
Don't give up. Don't be disheartened. Do not be dismayed. Yeah. Because God said that this is going to happen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times we get so in our flesh. Why? Why, Why God? Yes. <laughs> Why me? Yeah. Why does all of this have to happen to me as if it's not happening to anybody else? Yeah. Right. Right. You are not the only one. On. You're not the only one that's going through, that has oh, gone honey. through. But on the other side of Come the room. Mm -hmm. Come, Come on, on. Yeah. On the other side is, uh, is where you get your breakthrough. Come on. While you're going through your hard times, pray. Come yeah. on. Come on. Yes, it's going to be hard to pray. Yes, yeah. yeah, come on. It's going to be so hard to pray. But you have to pray. Mm -hmm. You have to praise God in the midst of your storm. In the, in, the, in the motivational moment, it says that the most important thing happens during our time of wait. Yeah. And then it kind of thought, I thought of the scripture, but they that wait on the Lord on. Yeah. shall be renewed. Yeah. 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 They shall mount up like eagles with wings. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. From the Lord our God is where we find our strength. Just when you have to tap in and really press in and go in hard, praying and worshiping and give it all over to God. And not have that internal struggle where you want to give it to God and you pull him back like um, mm -hmm. Minister Daniil said last week. You really have to cast all our yes. cares on the yes. Lord yes. and let him deal with it. Yes. I've totally been guilty of that. And I said, Lord, how do I do that? Give me the strength to do that because yes. in my own self, I cannot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Show right. me how to That's do this. Right. Right. Show me how to give you all of this so that I can still have an attitude yeah. of praise. So I can still have an attitude of uh, thanksgiving. Yeah. Still being grateful. Yeah. I can look around. I can have $2 in my pocket. But I still thank God. Amen. I thank him for everything that he's done for yes, me. I thank Lord. him for the horrible things that's done, he, that the life has happened. But because in those times have brought me to this yes, moment God. and this Amen. time yes. right here today. Yes. So I am so thankful. I'm so grateful. And I just want each and every person to be encouraged. No matter what you're going through, do not give up. Do not, do not give, give in. Yes, you're going to have Satan on the inside of you telling you your life isn't good enough. Of. You have no, you have no purpose. You have no reason here. You should just give up and die. Look at Job. Job. Let's let's talk about from the book of Job. He was given all types of things. He was a very wealthy man, very blessed man. Prophetess Trish said, "Be careful about the, the people you have in your company, the company that you keep." He had Bildab, Eliphaz, and Zephor. Right. <laughs> All right. Come on. Come on. Right. Guess what the pronunciation? Those friends that he had, they had they didn't do everything wrong. They came. They saw that he was in a time of trouble. They came there. For seven days they was quiet, quiet, and they prayed with him. However, they did not speak life. Wow. To him. What, they tell what they did. Come on, what they tell me to do. They told Job that, well, maybe you did maybe. something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you need to pray yeah. and repent of your sins. Yeah. If you seek God earnestly with all of your heart, then He'll restore to you everything that you've lost. But Job didn't believe that. He, he he didn't buy into the fact that he had did something wrong. Uh -huh. All right. We really have to be careful of our friends because we do have whispering demons and they don't know that they're being used by Satan. They don't know the true motivation. They may think they're coming from a good place, but it is not. Mm -hmm. If they're speaking negativity into your life and God has already told you and given you something powerful, then you have to reject right. those thoughts and yeah. replace them back with the word of God. Yeah. So when you are going through, do not curse your God and die. Do not give up. Yeah. Do not listen to those demons, those negative spirits that come to you and tell you, oh, I'm ugly, I'm not good for nothing, you know, it's always going to be like this. No, it's not going to always be like this. That's when you start to speak life and speak scripture into your life, yeah. into the circumstances. That's right. Yes. Yes. That's right. So I just, I just want to encourage each and every single person that, that
There is something on the inside of you, whatever that is that God is giving you. And as you're going through this time, it can be very, very easy to give up. But the hardest thing to do is to keep pressing forward, to keep moving on and just wait. Because when you wait, then God, and you keep operating in the will of God and keep being faithful and keep having a grateful heart, something <clears throat> wonderful is going to explode out of you and through you for the glory of God. Yeah. Don't give up. Amen. 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 I don't know how to top all those great Amen. people. Amen. 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 Um, so I, I was like, God, I'm going to go last. Yeah. They all this great rainbow word that's going forth right now. And <clears throat> I'm so excited um, to have the privilege to even serve with these great men and women of God. Um, and even having the privilege that my um, pastor saw fit that we all had the opportunity to do this. And um, I was talking to uh, Brother Derek. And I was like, I had my sermon ready like three weeks ago. I had told everybody, I'm good. Y'all get y'all worried together. I'm good. And um, and so I was talking to Pastor, uh, I think Pastor D. But that's Pastor D. Oh, so I was talking to Derek <laughs> early. And I was like, Derek, my sermon changed. Like, totally changed. And I'm like, I did not know. This is not what I wanted to do. So he was like, yeah, God told me the same thing. And I was just like, okay, God. <laughs> I was like, okay. Because I was like, y'all yeah, really want to make sure that we are all on the same track. And it so happened that we are um, on the same track. Um, from Pastor Trish Word to the Motivational Moment to even now. Um, and to me wrapping it up an opportunity. But before I asked uh, Prophet Wise, I said, how many keys you got? <laughs> That you do when you do your sermon. He was like, four. I was like, yes. So I told God, I want something unique and different. Uh -huh. I was like, prophet, you got the four E's. I wanted some, I want my sermon, my my ability to minister. I wanted to serve. I wanted to stretch to serve with success and excellence. I want to encourage you to push beyond you, revive your spirit, and vindicate your victory, and eliminate your fears. Wow. Yeah. That's what I want this word to do for you. So Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for the men and women who've come before me and set the atmosphere, God, who already tilt the soil, God, who already um, created some fertilization in the soil, who've already put the holes for the seeds, God. And God, some who've already planted the seeds, God, as I come to water what they've already planted, God, let this be a seed that grows, maybe not today, but God, it grows in the life of your people and in the believers, God. And God, and we thank you right now, God, that there's a life-changing word in what you've given me, God. And God, we thank you and we honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So, um, mine is the redemption song. So, um, let me see if I can sum up. The Johnsons um, talked about faith and believing. Um, Pastor... D, Derek talks about redemption as far as overcoming pride. Courtney talked about seed sowing, and I'm going to talk about the redemption, the redemption song. <clears throat> now, this is no normal redemption song, and because we have a lot of people that sing, and I sing every now and again. Now, this song is kind of different because it's like my testimony with the words, but this song is really different because it's personal to me. Um, now the lyrics start with a perfect God and a flawless word. The plans were created by the Father that created prosperity and good. And then some crafting had to happen in order for the son to come into place. And the crafting happened in the womb of my mother. And so after the crafting happened, there was a plan that was set in place before I was even formed into my mother's womb that I knew nothing about. And so after the plan came, <clears throat> I was born with some birth defects, right. sin, and wow. iniquity. Wow. Wow. And because I was born with these birth defects, 
I felt unwanted, unloved, rejected, disappointed, discouraged, depressed, unsuccessful, though the plan before I was born in my mother's womb said that I was good and prosperous. Yeah. But like birth effects, there's a surgery that took place that <clears throat> calls for correction of the defect. I was covered by the blood of Jesus through his death on the cross, was washed away my birth defense as I called, confessed in my mouth, and believing in my heart that I could that he could take these birth defense away. And as he took those away, there came a hardest change. So not only did I have the birth defense of iniquity and sin, but I had some hard things going on inside me. As Prophet Trish said, there are some times when we put in our own word curses. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that it's contemplating and, co and conforming to a, a place that God never called us to. Right. That we find ourselves compromising whatever God has already spoke to us before we were formed in our mother's womb. Yeah. So though the birth defense have been corrected, yeah. there's still some hard issues that need to take place. Yeah. Yeah. So... God gave me, through Jesus Christ, a new heart. And then from there, my mind transformed for it to be the sacrifice. Presenting my, so I was able to then go from a birth defect with heart issues, with birth defects of iniquity and sin, with birth defects of a mind that was so conformed to the world, to a place where I became a living sacrifice. So I went from being the person being sacrificed for wow. to being the living sacrifice. Wow. Okay. So as Pastor, as, as Derek said, uh, I went from not knowing my purpose to finding my purpose. Wow. And so I became the salt. So I went from being a seed given to a seed planted in the ground. Wow. I went from being in a place where I didn't believe to a place where I believe. The place that I was redeemed to a place that I could be who God called me to be. The purpose for my life was then restored. Now, now that I got the revelation of who I am, and I got the revelation of all my birth defects corrected and my heart surgery went just right, and my mind surgery went just right, God can now sing a new song over me. And I can boldly approach him with confidence yeah. And ask anything of him. Yeah. So now that you've heard my song, and I hope these three things will happen for you. So I declare, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened. Yeah. And or that you may know the hope in which he has called you. Oh. The riches of his glory inherits right. in his holy people. Ephesians 1.18. Yeah. So let me break that down. I hope that you realize your purpose and your destiny for God that you can't even compare it to what other people have seen or done that you admire. I pray that right now that simply says that the riches that God called you to cannot be imagined in phantom. It is priceless beyond your recognition. So whatever limit you have on God is not the limit that he has. So you may say a meal, and he says a bill. Yeah. You may say up, he may say higher. Yeah. So you're standing up here limiting God. So that just simply means that the limitations of a box that you place God in due to the fact that you have this awesome relationship with him shall come down. Yeah. That the walls of your heart shall expand to the point that your eyes can't see what your natural eyes usually see. That you can see beyond that. Yeah. And the spirit of God can take over you. I pray that you guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Simply stated, I pray that you realize that you are a son and daughter of a true and living king. Yeah. Right. And there's nothing that your daddy can't do yeah. that he won't do if yes. you just wait on him. Yes. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Last, I pray that you'll cast your cares on the Lord so he can sustain you. He would never let the righteous be shaken. Simply put, don't even look at the circumstances for the value that it even doesn't have. Wow. Yeah. Don't look at the circumstances for the value that it even has. Meaning if you see broke, that don't mean you actually broke. That's right. 
Just cause your bank account in the red don't mean it's red. Man's word cannot even fathom what God's word says. And we get so caught up in our natural that we are shaking. Like, God, you can't do it. But let me just say, if you cast your cares on him, he will truly care for you. And everything that has shaken your foundation shall be put back together with a new foundation found in Jesus Christ. I declare, when you're at the end of your rope, with less of you, there is more of God and his rule. And that the God of grace who calls you to his eternal glory in Christ, yeah. and you have suffered a little while, <laughs> yes. with him you'll be restored and made strong, firm, and steadfast. And it's in the place that your redemption son will come alive. Yeah. Simply put, if you remember who your daddy is, yeah. you ain't got to worry about what the world is saying. Whatever report you have, whatever report man gives you, whatever box they, they have put you in, yeah, yeah. can never expand beyond what the Father has for you. Amen. Greatness is in you, Amen. on you, around you, yeah. through you. You can't be salt and somebody taste you and they not recognize the flavor. All right, yeah. They can't recognize your flavor unless you are in the Father. So today I share my redemption song that you may be redeemed, that you may re be redeemed, your heart, your mind, your soul, and your spirit, and you realize that fear has no place in your life, that it's truly false evidence appearing real, That's right. That's right. and that the reality is your daddy loved you so much that he allowed you the opportunity to endure the trial just so he can use you to get the glory. Amen. 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 Wow. Wow. Amazing, amazing. Can we just give God a hand clap of praise? Y'all can do better than that. Come on, come on, get on your feet. Y'all can do better than that. I ain't saying for me. I'm talking about what God is doing. Wow. I don't, I, I, I want to say that I don't believe it's anything that I could have said today uh, that my wife could have said today that could impact us of what God spoke yes. through these men and women of God on today. Yes, God. Yes, God. Now, if, if you, I said something earlier that, that we have our favorite sometime. If you guys leave here and say, you know, church one, you missed it. All right, all right. Something is wrong with you. <laughs> We can do an altar call right now because you don't have a relationship with God. <laughs> okay, I'm just playing. With you. But but seriously, God spoke mildly on today, mighty on today. Praise God. I'm so godly proud of everybody that came up on today. Y'all don't do that again, but you cry like a little baby. Stop. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm gonna let my wife speak real quick. She has something. I I'm just, you know, um, just to. I know Minister Chandrika. You guys have heard her. She's a profound speaker, uh, all the time. She was the only one that spoke today, that actually, always speaks. Everybody else, it was their first time. Brother Derek, he has never ministered. Uh, the, the Johnsons, you know, matter of fact, let me tell you how much Nicole has grown. I asked her to give a testimony a month ago. I got to pray about that. <laughs> a month ago, right? It was about just, just, just talk about what God has done. I got to pray about that. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm comfortable yet, like talking like that. And look at her today. Amen. Amen. Wasn't that awesome? And Corey, he's never never ever spoken like that mm -hmm. and 
that's what I'm talking about. That this is not for our glory. It's for God. Because God has something on the inside of all of us that he wants to use. And it's important for us to avail ourselves. It's like Brother Derek was saying. It's not about you. When you step back and be like, oh, I ain't ready. I don't know. You insecure. You, you, you know, you got all of that doubt and that fear. That's a form of pride. Because God is saying, I want all of you. And you're like, no, I can't give you all of me. I give you, so I give you the part that I want you to have, God. But this right here, I'm a shield. Because I don't want to give it to you. Mm. So I, I, we encourage the breaking of that. Because we want to see y'all actually going hard for God like never before. And we are so proud of y'all. This was amazing. It was amazing. Did y'all enjoy? Y'all want to see that happen again? Amen. Yeah. And well, we're going to have some more. You know, some more people that are going to start doing this. And, and it's going to be even more awesome, I'm sure. So praise God. Amen. Um, we want to welcome our, do we have any first time visitors? No, uh, welcome our new visitors. We got mom with us today. Yep, We're yep. so excited. Always a blessing to have her. We got our man, got our friend in the back. Amen. We're so happy to have you. Yeah, and uh, and and we got our brother in the back, Jared. Jared, because my my husband was calling Gerard for a minute, but Jared is out of the hospital and back. Amen. <laughs> Jared is out. God is healing you, Jared. This is just the beginning, okay? And all God wants you to do is stay focused on him, and you have yet to text to see how good he's going to be to you. Just stay focused. It's going to happen. Amen? Amen? Wholeness. Amen. Everybody, we're just so happy to see all of our friends here today. Uh, we love all of y'all, and uh, we hope you guys can come back. Anybody want to join in OCI today? I'm sorry. We've not done that in a, in a while. But is there anybody ready to join Mind of Christ International today? Amen? Nobody yet? Keep praying and keep believing that God will show you exactly where you need to be because that's where you're going to grow. And we welcome them. We're getting glad to see the Maddox is back with us. Amen. Uh, Apostle Maddox, she was with me on yesterday. I had the minister in Atlanta. I thank God for her. She was covering me as I was going forth in warfare and praying and all of that. And she was right there. So I am so happy for her and Tracy and Ebony. They, all three of them went with me on the journey. And it was a powerful, powerful time in God. And they all assisted and helped in their own way. And I'm so grateful for y'all. I am really grateful. Amen. 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 Hey, real quickly, I do want to say this. Everybody uh, that spoke on today, you know, the one ringing theme that I heard um, all of them was talking about was identity. You know, knowing who you are. You know, the, the Johnsons talked about, uh, they start out beginning and asking the question, why God allows bad things to happen to us a lot of times? And I believe uh, the question, when you ask God that he asks you, why not you? Why not you? So, so our position, I believe, as, as a believer in Christ and knowing who we are, we have to be like, hey, you know what? God, if you allowed it, I know that because I'm your child, you will sustain me. That's right. That's right. Because I'm your child. That's what identity says when you know who you are in Christ. If you allowed it, then you must have a plan. Yeah. You must have a purpose in this. Yeah. Brothers... Strickland talked about judging your motives. Heart check. Mm -hmm. Heart check. Heart check. You know, I talked about this last week the, when he talked about, uh, you know, low self-esteem and thinking too highly of yourselves. Both of those are a form of pride. We look at pride like, hey, I'm thinking too highly of myself. And pride says, hey, I'm in the center. And there's no place for God here because God wants to be in the center. I'm in the center. That's what pride says. I'm in the center. There's no place for God here. But here's, I want you to look at this. Low self-esteem, low self-confidence also makes you, you're in the center. Mm -hmm. That's a form of pride as well. So if you're thinking of yourself too low or too high, both of those are a form of pride because you are in the center. You're saying, God, I know better than you. I got this thing figured out. You don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So heart check. <coughs> Courtney, Courtney uh, talked about don't give up. Yeah. When you know who you are in Christ 
and you look at the things that he suffered, what he went through, nothing of this present time to, can compare to what he went through. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And she said something very powerful that as long as you keep move, moving forward in God, then your strength will be renewed. Amen. Amen. When you know who you are in Christ, it doesn't matter what you go through. Only thing that you know that is you're going to get through this and in the end, your strength will be renewed. Amen. And finally, Minister Shandrika talked about the redemptive song. When you know who you are, you know that you have been bought with a price. When you know that you in Christ Jesus, you have been bought with a price. You have been redeemed. Yes, yes, God. You have been redeemed. Paul says it like this in Galatians 2 and 20. He says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life I live, I, and the life I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So when you know who you are, you, you, you are walking dead, man. It's not you, but it's Christ that liveth in you. Yeah. Yeah. What a powerful time on today. I'm excited. Yeah. Awesome. awesome time. And we just thank God for everything that has transpired on today.